There are roughly over 10,000 recorded religions, each one with numerous denominations. When the final grain of sand drops, the last tick of the clock sounds, and you feel the reaper's cold skeletal touch, what weight shall your soul carry with the value of your morality? This is True Neutral. Congratulations, you have just died. Please stay calm, and a representative will be with you in just a moment. Sorry, what? Hello there, Mr. Smith. I'm Angie the Angel. Why don't you pop into our office? Please, come inside. Uh, okay. Now try not to panic. Take a seat, and I'll explain everything. You've died, but don't worry. Myself and the handsome Devlin here... Thank you, Angie. You're welcome, Devlin. We're going to get you to your afterlife right away. Oh, um, okay, I thought you just got sent to St. Peter and he was, and he has your name in the book. Not exactly. Oh, God, I'm not going to hell, am I? Is that why you have horns on your head? Are you the devil? I'm a devil. Myself and Angie are representatives of good and evil. We shall determine your afterlife based on your morality and belief religion. Well, what if I'm atheist? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to an angel and a devil. Nobody's an atheist after walking through that door. Fair enough. This is a morality watch. It calculates the decisions and actions taken in your life taking into account circumstance, environment and culture. Think of it as divine judgment. Your hand, please. There you go. Ah, it's a bit tight. Calculating morality for universe one. Milky Way, Brine Orb, Earth, Human, Morality Result, 50% good, 50% dead, neutral, no advised action, refer to soul's death, thank you. Let's try that again. Recalculating, result, same as before, neutral, we don't make mistakes, again, again. refer to soul's death. Well, that's never happened before. How strange. What do you mean strange? I'm definitely not bad. According to this, you're half bad. What? That's insane. I'm not bad. Well, it's considered bad anyway. Well, there's numerous things. Lying, stealing, not washing your dishes and shared accommodation. Not washing your dishes can get you sent to hell? Well, there's different scales of bad. If you left the washing up for 2,267,709 times, you'd go to hell. But if I was to do the washing of my dishes... 2,267,709 times I'd go to heaven? No. you just not gain any bad morality. Correcting a mistake doesn't gain you good points. It just negates the bad one. What if I was to do my flatmates washing 2,267,709 times? Then you'd be an enabler. Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm a nice person. I've never killed anyone. Not doing bad doesn't mean you've done good. You've never killed anyone. But you've never saved anyone either. Not true. I saved a young boy, a toddler right before I died. Really? What did you save him from? He was about to get run over by a car. Angie, get his file out. What's that? The complete history of your life. Organised into alphabetical, numerical and chronological order. Also colour-coded. God got the idea when he saw smartwatches. We used this before a morality watch. Took forever calculating every good deed and every evil act. Here we go. Cause of Did death. Did you just say God got the idea from seeing a smartwatch? Um, yes, I did. Well, I'm not a, an expert on religion, but from my primary school years of reading Alive O. What's Alive O? It's a book that tells you about God. You mean like the Quran or the Bible? One of one of them? Yeah, sort of like the Bible, but a lot smaller. Had pictures and crosswords and stuff. Puzzles. In the Bible? That's a great idea! Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy nine letters down. It's an Australian soap opera. <gasps> Neighbour. <gasps> oh my goodness, it is fun! Yeah, sorry, can we just get back to God getting ideas from humans thing? What well, seems to be the problem? Well, I thought that God is an omnipotent. He can create everything. God can create anything, yes. 
But how do you create something you don't know? God's all-knowing, though, no? Well, he knows everything he's created. But the creations make their own creations, and there are a lot of creations now. So what you're saying is God has absolutely no idea who I am, what I've done, or even the fact that I exist. But God is very busy, being the most important entity this side of the universe. Th this side of the universe? The universe is really big. God could hardly manage all of it. So this omnipotent, all-powerful being that the human race has argued, debated and fought wars over since the birth of Christianity is actually just a regional manager. Well, you fought a lot longer than that. Christianity is only 2,000 years old. So Christianity is wrong. No religion is truly wrong. They all have bits and pieces of truth. And they all encourage you to a purposeful life. And that's the meaning of life, to find purpose? The overall meaning of life itself is birth and creation. No, Angie. I think what he means to ask is, what is the meaning of life as an individual? Oh, that's easy. Whatever you want it to be. Your life is yours and only yours. You only have one. Oh, I think I'm going to start crying. Look, don't think about it. You're dead now anyway. It's all over. Finished. The fat lady has sung. A physical body you have no more. No point worrying about it now. You'd enjoy the afterlife anyway, if you'd been good. Let's see here. Cause of death. Hit by car while saving toddler. Well, that should get you some good points. I think we can send you to heaven. <laughs> well, I feel a lot better now of you. <laughs> One second, let me see that. No, I don't think we need to read any more. Section anymore. 6, Article 4. Honestly, lads, I don't think we need to read. Well, 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 Mr. Smith. Care to tell Angie the method you used to move the child out of the path of the oncoming vehicle? It's not as bad as it sounds. What? What is it? Tell me. Yeah, John. Tell us. I drop kicked him. What's a drop kick? It's when you jump in the air and kick with both feet. What? Why did you kick a child? I still saved him. Yeah, but did you do it to save him? Or you just took advantage of the chance to kick a child? Well, the outcome is the same. It says here he lost some teeth. How awful! They were probably baby teeth. They'll grow back. We'll just say the actions nullified themselves out. Agreed. So what happens to me now? Now? We have to go through every single word in your file and calculate your score manually. But what if the score is the same? That's never happened before, so... So let's get through these files. We're more bored than you. It's a lot of fuss, bother, and itch. Hello? Hello? Y say what? again. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, of course. I'll be there straight away. Okay, my myself and Devlin are going to pop out for one second. Won't be a second, John. Do you know what this means, Angie? Well, no more paperwork for a start. Paperwork? We're going to war, Angie. We're summoned to head office. Front lines of heaven and hell. No on our look. There won't be a war, Devlin. Head office isn't like that. Have you ever even read the Bible, Angie? It's like a thousand pages, and the writings are really small. Angie, the end times. Elam's wrath. Seven seals, seven trumpets. The world's trial. Who's Elam? Angie, you've never heard of the Great Tribulation. The end times. God judges the earth. The great dragon descends. The They've been talking forever. I wonder what they're talking I about. His name is Satan. Angie, I'm gonna put this as simply as I can. God will judge every soul living and dead from the beginning of creation. Those deemed good will ascend to heaven in everlasting paradise. And the bad ones will go to hell? Worse than hell. What's worse than hell? Sheol. Eternal nothingness. Existence without existence. No pleasure, no pain. A single second in there and you'd wish for a burning pitchfork up the arse, just so you knew you existed. Your body with no feeling, your soul with no spirit, consciousness with no thought. Forever. So, what do we do now? No we anymore, Angie. We're enemies. Next time we meet, we'll be in the battlefield. Heaven versus hell. But now, get yourself to your head office. And I'll head to mine. I will say this, though. Come here. Your hands are so strong. When I gaze into your beautiful golden eyes, it makes a devil feel like he can see heaven. Oh, Devlin. I'll see you around. Devlin, wait! Yeah?
What about the human? Ugh. Just send him back. God has to judge everyone now anyway. Won't make any difference. But do it quickly. You have to report in. I love you. Good news, John. You're heading back to Earth. You sure you don't want to send me to heaven? As much as I'd love to, your final destination needs to be agreed upon and signed by both myself and Debbie. Can't you just bring him in for a second? He, he's out at the moment. Very busy, and I need to get going as well. Loads of changes happening very soon. Or oh, redecorating or something. I can't lie because I'm an angel. But I can't tell you because if you knew what was going on, it would invalidate your case, and you'd be unable to enter heaven or hell. Oh, uh, why? Why is that? Well, if you knew what was happening, you'd definitely try your best to get into heaven. But luckily, I don't know anything. Yes, very lucky. <sighs> Angie, I heard everything. What? I was earwigging you and Devlin when yous were talking outside the door. What do you mean by everything? All the rapture. God judging everyone. Existence without existence stuff. You heard all that from here? No, I put my ear against the door. Oh, well, that's not too bad, then. I wasn't it that bad. Well, if you stayed in the chair and heard us, that would be gross negligence on our part, and we would have to send you to heaven. But because you snuck over, it was your own decision to listen. I'm so sorry. I'm truly sorry. I'm going to have to Angie, send you back now. wait! Oh. Oh my god. Oh, that was just a dream. <laughs> Christ on a bike, that put the fear of God into me. <laughs> Wait, what's... Why do I have a... Why do I have a watch? Is that the morality watch? Oh, it was real. Balls! Oh, give it a rest. Given a second chance at life, John must tip the scales in favour to heaven, or forever be trapped in Sheol. The earth ripe for God's rapture, time runs short, and selfless deeds are needed. Tune in for the next act of True Neutral. Written by Dylan Ormond, performed by Dylan Ormond, Fabian Oman, and Laura Finn. Special thanks to Free Sound, Premium Beats, and Incompetech. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next one.